the video. What's up guys, Chris here from Vogus Prospecting. Today is bloody hot outside and I was going to just edit a video that me and Josh filmed yesterday uh, and that would have been fine, but the postie had decided to be super generous. The package from Gold Claw finally rocked up and I am real stoked to show you what's in here. But before we get to that, and I do really want to get to that, did I mention this? The 1.36 gram gold nugget donated by Tazzy Gold Rush or Dave. Uh, his channel's in the description. Check it out. He's giving me the opportunity to give away a slug of gold to one of you guys just for donating in March's fundraiser. Well, here we are. They've sent me uh, a hat and a shirt and a whole heap of gear here we go uh we've got three pans here we've got two of the pans that i already had that i had in pink but i've now got them in blue and i cannot wait to show you guys some of the gold that comes out of these pans on a blue surface that you're going to be able to see on film because i'm sick of doing it on a pink one where you can't I've got this it's exactly the same as the pink one i've been using if you haven't seen any of those videos go back the last few videos i've been using it we've got a see-through one this thing is going to be cool because I feel like I'm going to be able to do some really cool camera angle shots with this that are going to give everyone a very good idea of just how these work in terms of um, fluid dynamics and stratification and a whole lot of other bits and pieces. So I'm looking forward to using this for some demonstration purposes. The one that's got me really excited is this little bad boy here. It's the pocket pan. Is that a pan in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? Because this is the pan that I saw originally on Kickstarter and it's the one that I want to utilize uh, for crevicing and travel and there's going to be a whole lot of new videos coming out uh, of what I'm going to call the future of mining. And we've got a couple of accessories. We've got a little shovel here. Ooh, shiny. Which obviously goes along with the pocket pan. And in this little bag, I'm very excited. Snuff a bottle, I'm forever losing these, sometimes with gold in them. So unfortunately for me, I dropped my bloody snuff a bottle in the water, didn't I? And it's buggered off. So if you find a white snuff a bottle downstream somewhere in Reedy Creek, you can thank me later. So if you find any of them down Reedy Creek or, or any places like that, it's got gold in it, it's probably mine. A uh, little file, uh, file, PH, file file Ooh, uh, English it's a great language uh, to collect your gold and a one ounce tub of pay dirt that's a tiny thing of pay dirt and I've had a really good look just in the plastic bag as it is and I can't see any gold so it must be nice fine alluvial stuff no no nuggets hidden in there what are we going to do with all this stuff today well it's gonna be really easy I'm gonna utilize this and that little bit of pay dirt to see how they work Setting this display up, I have noobs. <laughs> How cool is this? The pocket pan, if you fill up a uh, regular gold coil pan, you can actually use it to pan off in. You can pan into a pan. Here we go. Dry, unopened, no idea how much gold's in it. We're gonna find out. It's only one ounce or 30 grams worth of dirt. So here we go, pour it in. Nothing left in there. Over here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to keep this dirt exactly how it is. I'm going to tip out all the um, all the crud that I pan off into and then tip it back into the dryer once it's dry. So we'll wet it first. I wonder if I left any shotgun pellets. That'd be cool. Alright. 
very unconventional method of doing this, but hey, I'm mining at home, so who cares? So side to side, side to side. And we'll start tipping. I don't quite have enough water. Oh no! What if we put it on this side? And then we flick water at it, that'll work. <laughs> Oh, I can see gold! Oh, I love it. Pan and gold off right next to my computer. How good's that? I'll shake it into the corner. And you can actually see it on camera, which is even better. I'm going to do the reveal holding the camera. What do you reckon? Alright, here we go. What have we got? There it is. It's about what I expect from one ounce worth of uh, of dirt, not overly much gold. <laughs> Try and bring in the light for you so you can see it a bit better. Yeah, some US gold. My first ever panned bit of US gold. Now, if you're like me, you like numbers. Uh, numbers are important in prospecting. They're very important. We talk about grams, grams ounces, dollars, shovels how much yardage all that stuff it all comes back to numbers so let me give you some numbers on this i can work a pan of normal dirt like in about a minute i can get it from full to down to the dregs where i can reveal the gold and suck it up in around a minute to a minute 10 uh providing there's no clay or anything else that i have to break up this i can do it in 17 seconds so I can get three to four pans in the same time it takes me to do one of them. So whilst this can only work one shovel full of dirt at a time, it is that efficient, it more than makes up for it. There are three main ways you would use this pan, and it will not always replace a standard pan. There are places for those things, but these are the main benefits that I can see with the gold claw. First of all is prospecting. Prospecting is about taking a pan and looking for gold deposits. A lot of people confuse prospecting and mining. Mining is extracting the gold out of the dirt once you found it. Prospecting is about finding where that gold actually is. To do that, you need to do a lot of test pans. You need to not just do it in one or two spots, 30, 40 spots. If you can do that, you'll find the best deposit to work for that day. It's about efficiency. So the quicker you can get those pans done, the better off you'll be. And that's where this comes in. I could bang out four or five pans of these in a few minutes and know if a spot is worth working. Very similar to the way that I've been utilizing the crop gator to do sluice testing, where I can set the sluice up in a matter of seconds, run 20 shovels full and get a microcosm of what's actually going on in the ground that I'm working. The other one's mining. Now, extracting the dirt out of the ground with one of these pans might seem like it's going to take a long time because you can only work roughly one shovel full of dirt at a time. A standard pan from Mine Lab, I can fit three shovels into. However, there's a catch to that. 17 seconds. If I'm talking a Mine Lab pan, I'm probably talking a minute and a half, and I might even have to classify that material down. Again, barring clay, no matter what pan you use, whether it be this one or another one, you will still have to puddle clay up to get the gold out of it. So that is irrelevant. What we're talking about here is extreme efficiency. So yes, it will not hold the same amount of dirt as your Mine Lab or your Garrett Super Sluice. But I'll guarantee you, it, at the end of it, if we raced, I would process more dirt. And that's the kicker, because at the end, you're left with a little bit in the bottom here. You can tip it into a collection container and come back to it later. So it can mine. The last one is cleanup. I have never used a pan that has made cleanup so super easy. Okay, let's put this in perspective. I've used sluices with ultra fine matting and whatnot to do a cleanup. Uh, and yeah, they'll reduce it. I've seen gold cubes in action. I've actually got one sitting on my front veranda uh, waiting to go and, and be used for, for a future video. And they all go down to maybe a cup. I've seen blue bowls. I've seen all sorts of different methods to do your final cleanup. This is more efficient. This chews through black sand that quick. It's not even funny. I had a full pan of black sand out there with Josh the other day. Uh, and when I worked it down, it got rid of almost all of it in seconds. And yeah, you could go back through it and probably find a few specs, but I challenge you to find a system that doesn't already do that. So for efficiency, this is ridiculously quick. Not only can you utilize the main part of 
the pan to sluice down your uh, your black your black concentrates. You can use the back to do your fines, and then they've even got inbuilt riffles just here uh, that work just like a miller table, and you can just get it down to absolutely no black sand, no nothing left with your gold. So for cleanup, these pans are amazing as well. Well, that wasn't really a review, was it? That was more of just showing you some stuff. I'm glad I got to show you a little bit of pay dirt that came with the kit. I'm glad I got to show you uh, just a little bit of how this Gold Claw Pocket Pan does work. And to show you some exciting, innovative things that companies are bringing out now regarding mining. Let's face it. It's all about efficiency. It always has been from the 1800s to now. We've always looked for the easiest way to extract the most amount of gold. And products like the Gold Claw, Crop Gold Traps, uh, the Bucket Dredge System from Peacekeeper 1966 that I've personally used, plus a whole lot of other inventions that have come out like new detectors, new high bankers, new matting systems like the Dream Mats. Um, you know, these are all products that are going to get you more gold at the end of the day. Remember? Tassie Gold Rush donated a 1.36 gram gold nugget and you could win that as part of a, a prize pack in March's fundraiser. The link is in the description for that. The link is also in the description for the review I did on the Gold Claw pan earlier uh, and probably a few other things if you'd like to check them out. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to hit that subscribe button. It helps me build the channel better for you guys. And as always, I'm out.